Hey, y'all. I just want to talk about anybody who has to live in somebody else's house. All right. Um, first of all, somebody is nice enough to let you live in their house, especially if it's rent free. Um, you go into somebody else's house, you want to live in their house like they live in it. If they keep their house clean, they bathroom clean, clean up after however that house is when you come in there. That's how it should always be when you wake up every day. That person don't have to share their house with you. You got to share their house with them. You get what I'm saying? So you cannot make them adjust to you, what you like and what you what you do because you don't live there. And it's a temporary stay. Some of y'all get so relaxed and think that y'all going to stay there permanently. Or you get so relaxed because you like where you at and get comfortable and y'all start doing what you'll do at your own house. People got their own set of rules and, and they got their own set of standards. And they might not be as clean as you. Say if you go to somebody else's house and they're not as clean as you. Then you got to accept that because you need them. They don't need you. So whatever their conditions is, you got to act like that. If they stop playing music at night, at 10 o'clock, then you should stop playing at, at 9 because you want to be more respectful to them. That's why anytime I ever stayed, you know, at my uh, parents' house or uh, my sister's house or anybody's house, they didn't mind me staying, you know, because I used to drive trucks for a living. They didn't mind me uh, staying because um, I always paid attention to what they were doing and how they did it in their house. And I tried to resemble that and, and stay on path to stay as long as I can or as long as I want it. And to where when I left, they wanted me to continue to stay there. You can come back anytime. I'm, I'm welcome anywhere because I am very observant. And this is in my younger days, you know, I used to do all that stuff. But what I'm saying is, a lot of y'all get on there, get 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 in the house, and y'all start playing your music loud, leaving your room nasty, eating all through the night, or eating stuff that ain't yours, having people pull up to somebody else's house. That's even though you live there, that's not your house. So if you have company, you should have them outside because your company don't have the same rules you have in their house because you live there. Um, she gonna expect or he gonna expect you to know the rules and apply them to your people, and and they might not know the rules. That bathroom to to, to use is not for your company to use. You know, if you ain't paying no rent there, you shouldn't feel like you live there at all, at all. So I'm just telling anybody who move into somebody house, you can you can be all tough if you want to. You are gonna be homeless. Because you're doing too much, way too much. You go in that house, you ask what the rule. If you don't know the rules, you should ask. Like I said, we in a me generation. It's about me. Instead of a, it's about if it's about you, you should have you a place to stay. If you know that you don't like rules and you don't like regulations. You shouldn't be staying at your mama house. You shouldn't be staying at your sister house. You shouldn't stay at your brother's house. You shouldn't stay at nobody's house that you don't want rules and regulations because you've grown. If you've grown, you should have a house. So y'all stop doing that stuff and, and, and get your life together. And if you need somebody to help you with your life and your decisions, your wrong decisions, or just your hard times, because some people do fall out on hard times, you know, um, just be considerate. They know that you are invading somebody else's space. They already not don't want you there probably. Or they want you there, but but they want you to make their house feel like still their house. You don't want to have a tension in the house where y'all have to walk on eggshells around each other. Or y'all feel some type of way secretly. So when you move out, they don't like you no more. A lot of times relationships is broken up once you live with somebody or you move in with somebody because you really get to see who they really are. And it's mostly about respect. 
anybody that you live with, it, you, y'all should still love each other. Only way you can't love that person or they love you is, or, or y'all fall out is because somebody did something to somebody. If y'all loved each other up until you moved in, something happened. And a lot of times too, um, people get so mad at you because you'd be like, you got to go because they're not doing right in your house. And then they want to talk about you and slander you and stuff. And you gave them a place to stay and everything. And they hate you for it, you know? But but don't worry about them type of people because they will come back and they will be they will even if you don't want them they still gonna wanna you know apologize once they get their stuff together and they realize how messed up they was and how much you did for them you know it'll be a time it may be twenty years from now but it'll be a time where they they definitely realize what how good you was especially if you're a good person and then they go to other people that ain't good. They're going to realize shortly. And even if they don't, who cares? You don't need them type of people in your life anyway. But it has to be a reason why y'all fall out when, when that person leaves there. Um, you know, you have to have respect for people. How you come in is how you come out. You go in there, you tell, show them love, and you, you try to make, make them feel like you appreciate. Wash the dishes. If you don't pay no bills especially, wash the dishes for them. Wash them. Every time you use your dish, wash it out. I never left a dish in the house that I was staying at that wasn't mine. Clean up after. And it, don't mind clean up after them. Make it where they are so comfortable with you and they love you there so much that they don't want you to leave. Cook. They come home, they ain't got to cook like they normally do. You know, clean up more. You know, they just love how you add into their household. And how less of work they got to do. It's more convenient for you to be there. That's that's it. Um, and if you are one of them ones that went to a house that ain't um, good, they talked about you um, when you got there because you was down and out and they just wanted a reason to talk about you, then they'll they'll be humble. They might fall on hard times too. Because everybody, uh, what goes up goes down. And what goes down comes back up. And, and so just stay pure and, and stay with good intentions. And y'all love each other and respect each other. And I hope you, if you stand at somebody's house or somebody stand with you, let them look at this video. It's about respect. We're going to love each other. We're going to care for each other. And I'm going to treat your stuff like my stuff. And if you treat your stuff better than I treat my stuff, I'm going to treat your stuff like you treat your stuff and and there will never be no problems and um i'm gonna do what i gotta do to stay here and i'm not gonna have all this company i'm gonna do what i gotta do because this ain't my house know that this ain't your house so you know do right y'all have a good one